Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series on the channel, which we're going to be taking over Borussia Dortmund, obviously managed by Edin Terzic, the team that currently sit fifth in the Bundesliga, 10 points uh, behind by Leverkusen, who sit top of the Bundesliga so far, three points ahead of Bayern Munich. Obviously, uh, speaking of Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund also almost beat them to the title last season, but obviously in the end, Bayern ended up getting another Bundesliga title in their trophy cabinet. But let's get into this team. Uh, take a look at it and obviously talk about potential transfers. You probably would have seen one by the thumbnail that I'm going to make. So let's get into it. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, begin this new journey. We're taking Dortmund back to the top of uh, uh, not only German football, but to the, uh, back to the top of European football. Let's get into this brand new journey. All right, so as you can see, this is how I'm planning to line up the team as of right now. As you can see, on that left-hand side, we have full crew out there right now, who is going to be replaced. Obviously, he will go into the second team and play games here and there up until we possibly sell him next season or in January because he's not a player that I plan to really get game time to due to him being 30 and 6 foot uh, six foot 2 not the, the best striker for us to use in this team and uh, the signing we want to make in that left hand side I'll oh, make in a second you already know who it's going to be due to the thumbnail but um, yeah we're going to make that signing in a minute and uh, return him back to his home well not his home but his former home of Dortmund and the rest of the team as you can see Adi Emi I'm going to convert back to a striker I feel like I just prefer adding him as a striker in this game. I feel like that's more fun to use. We're going to have Marco Royce in the camera uh, rotating with Julian Brandt and Gio Reyna, who we're going to convert into a cam as well. The midfield is Emre Chan and CDM for now. And obviously, Phyllis and Metro is going to give... Uh, I'm going to give him time to try and nail down this spot in centre mid. Obviously, he's a very good talent and um, I hope he can do well for us. Uh, Daniel Marlin is going to be playing down the right-hand side. Obviously, if we need to, we can rotate them to a round here and there. And uh, give that a chance. And obviously, the defence, uh, Benson behind his Slabek, Sula, and uh, Ryerson, and obviously, Gregor Kobel in goal is pretty much how I want to line up right now. So, we could sign better fullbacks. I think Ryerson's a player that I think are going to keep for the majority of this career, as long as he continues to grow. It's a player that I really like in uh, FIFA 23, and I'm probably going to like him in SC24 as well. He's playing right back for us right now. I can play it on the left hand side, obviously, that's where he's more known for playing, but he's playing right back in real life for Dortmund. So, that's where we're going to play him. And uh, Ben Spiani, we're going to give him a chance to uh, see how we can do. And if it doesn't really work out, I'm going to bring Marius Wolf into the team and put Ryerson back into the left-back role and play Wolf down the right up until maybe January or Season 2 when we sign a better player. Because I know in real life, Dortmund in January want to sign uh, defenders in terms of the fullback positions. They want to improve there. And uh, that's something we're going to possibly do in the bench. I think we've got quite a few talents down here. The likes of obviously Van Aguirre and Makoko. And the Ramvo also likes a brand, it's a bit of Hummels and Marius Wolf are more uh, experienced players. Gio Reyna is going to be rotating in and out of the team where we can play him or when we need to play him. And to show you the second team, as it stands right now, we're going to play Makoko up front, Gio Reyna in a cam roll. We're going to play Banner Gittins on the left and Duranville down the right hand side. So I want to get these guys game time in this series. I don't want to have a series where I don't use them. Because if I learn that Duranville, um, I'll maybe just sign a right mid and he won't get used. And I really want to try him. And uh, Sabitza and um, Ray for now in the midfield. I'm going to sign the centre mid. And that's who's going to play there. Marius Wolf at left back for now. Um, uh, Hummels and Mounier in the centre back roles. And Mounier is probably going to get replaced in this team. And go back to right back or or wherever he goes. Uh, Sadi Urshan's currently playing there. So he, he probably will do an alright job in the right back role. Can play centre back as well if he needed him too. And Gregor Kubel in goal. I'm going to sign perhaps a uh, backup goalkeeper. I'm not too sure yet because I feel like we do need a backup goalkeeper due to our backup being 74 rated. I would like to at least have a 78 rated goalkeeper behind with a Kobel or a, like a talent at least we can develop. We have Lotka who's going to go out on loan. So he's actually a decent talent. I'm going to loan him out for um, the season and see what he can become. And uh, yeah, that's the team right now. We're going to make a signing as I mentioned in terms of the left mid role for the first team. So I'm going to do that real quickly and we'll, we'll cut back to you once that has been achieved. Alright, so as you can see, Jadon Sancho has returned to Borussia Dortmund and a deal that sees Sebastian Haller go the other way. A deal that benefits both clubs. Uh, Eric Ten Hag gets rid of a player that he doesn't want to use and they gain a striker which they desperately need. Sebastian Haller goes the opposite way, worth 26 million and a deal worth about 39 million altogether, 40 mil, as it was a deal with saw Jadon Sancho plus 14 million. Well, Sebastian Haller plus 14 million go to Man United. And Jaden Sancho comes to hurt. As you can see in the team, he's a number 10 currently because Gio Reyna has the number 7 and 25 is currently taken by Nicolas Sula. So number 10 is free. And um, I'm not sure if that suits him. 
to be honest. I'm not sure if number 10 suits him, but we're going to give him number 10 for now and see if he can develop into a player that fits the number 10. Obviously, he's going to go straight into the team in that left-hand side role. Obviously, Sebastian, uh, not Sebastian, well, Sebastian Haller leaves the team, which frees up a bit of money in terms of the wages as well. And we're left with 46 million to spend. And um, yeah, Jane Essential joins and the team is looking pretty good to say the least. All right, so before we get into our first game of the episode and the first game of the season, up in the SD Corn in the league, we're going to be having a look at transfers I've made for the second team. As you can see, uh, we've got two players that are joining the second team in Donny van der Beek, who we are signed from Man United, is going to be playing a CDM as a centre mid role in the uh, second team for us. We've also uh, brought in Sebastian Bornau from Wolfsburg to be a backup centre back alongside Mats Hummels for now. And uh, we have two games to play in this episode. And the rest of the transfers we'll talk about at the end. Because a couple of players that we need to still sign. Maybe a different backup right back or left back. And we move back over to uh, right back. And we also need a backup goalkeeper. And Murray I'm actually going to convert to a right mid. And use him there. And uh, uh, Paul Leman here. I'm actually going to give a chance to see what he can achieve in this uh, team. And if he's not really doing well, we're going to obviously let him go. And the rest of the players you can see are going to get a chance. Full clue going to keep for now. And uh, just have him as a first striker just in case Makoko uh, gets injured. Then he can go into the second team and play games there. And the rest of the team is looking pretty good. Duranville has been converted to a right mid. And we're working on his stats at the moment. And yeah, the teams are looking pretty good. We're going to get into our first game of the season though. Damian plays it up wide here to Pacarada. And Pastorada, however you pronounce it. So, uh, shot back, I guess it away. Uh, Sula, there we go. Metro. Oh, I couldn't find Royce. That pass needs to be found there, Metro. Why is Metro trying to challenge the wrong direction? There we go, Sula. I'm hoping Sula is more usable this year. And I don't want so as he was last, but Daniel Marlin now has a chance of Marlin. Oh, why did he not turn? There we go. Royce now from range. Royce and Schwab shoot, uh, saves. This is to Ben Sibiani. Ben Sibiani, good cross over to Daniel Marlin who can't win the header. And apparently, you handballed it in the process. Oh, I'm really trying to always win it back there. Uh, Jordan Sancho, sorry, won it back. Love that from Jordan Sancho. Adiemi, if you hit that, Adiemi finesses it from range, and Adiemi! For the first goal of the Dortmund series, for it to be a goal of that standard is insane. Karim Adiemi. Jordan Sancho wins the ball back, finds Adiemi. One turn, and he wraps his right foot around it and puts it top right-hand corner of the goal. That's incredible from Adiemi. Chance uh, for Cohen to go forward there. Ryerson can get in there. There we go, Ryerson. That's why I liked you in FIFA 23, and I don't think I'm going to like you again this year. Why not? Good opportunity to test it. Marco Royce from the free kick. It's on target. In a better position. He'll probably do better than that. Sancho to Marlin. Back here to Sancho. And Sancho turns. Sancho shoot across goal. And Kirian makes a block there. Then you're Marlin now. To Metcher. And he's signing for Dortmund in real life. So if he can start his life off here, good for his Adiemi into Royce. Royce to make it to Sancho with an open goal. And Jaden Sancho on his return to Dortmund gets a goal and an assist in this first game back, showing Eric Ten Hag, a player that he let down in a way. But Jaden makes it two. And it was a tap in, but he still had to be there. That's uh, for them to whip it in. Ryerson gets it clear. Love that now, Marlon. Is it Adiemi the pace of these two? It's basically a front two of Adiemi and Marlon. Adiemi cuts inside. Finesse shot again from Adiemi. It's off the bar. Come on, Ryerson. Track back. Suda's first opportunity here. Now it's actually going to be Soderbeck who gets it clear. And Marco Royce now. Adiemi. Oh, the pass, was, the pass was almost perfect. Ryson. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Sula coming over here. 
Still there with a big challenge there. They somehow still have the ball and it's whipped in and Kobel makes an incredible save there. Marlon again. Driving it forward, Daniel Marlon. Overhead to Jordan Sancho. Right, you think Sancho bends it and the keeper is forced into a good save. Ah, oh, Ryerson tried to do a tactical foul there, wasn't the case. Oh no, it's not looking good here. Kainz. And Metro, a big challenge there, closing him down, love that. Ryerson, shot a bit, makes a block, and Metro gets it clear. Selica now on the ball. So back in, back into Selica. Sulo putting challenge there, didn't really get enough of it though. And it's a good block there, but I shot a bit of force back to Selica, who makes it 2 1. Not sure if I Davies Selica's uh, ce uh, celebrating there when a 2 1 dad in this game, but celebrating his first goal of the season. Rather unfortunate, to be honest. Rather unfortunate the way we, this came about. As you can see, I put in a good challenge here with Starbeck, ricochets or Sule, and yet yeah, that's just a goal. It's not anyone's fault, really. That it's just unfortunate. Sanchez fouled there. You can get a, an opportunity straight away. Metro is fouled there. Jeez, am I going to take the free kick because there wasn't really anything going there? And didn't want to lose the opportunity. Rice and stood over it because, well, we can do this. Rice puts a Marlin and the Marco Royce and range. Marco Royce, that's 3 1. My captain, I know he stepped down as captain in real life, but he's a captain in this series, this season one at least. Marco Royce, the legend himself, grabs himself a goal. A great strike from range, a great work free kick, exactly how I wanted it to go. And it's 3 1 here at home in the Signal Juno Park, in front of the yellow wall, in front of the Dortmund faithful. Are we going to be title challengers this season? It's too early to tell. But the football we're playing right now against a rather good corn team, we really could be. And we want it back again. Arlen. Adiemi. I forgot his name. I think it's Heinz. Ryerson, oh, I love that from Ryerson. Over there, dealt with it and got the ball out. Oh, Metro wins it. The Gagan pressing style of Dortmund has returned. Adiemi now. Adiemi hits it and his shot, it shot is saved. Going to make some changes in a minute. Bring on the likes of Dranville and some others just to give them some game time. But a Metro from Ranger. Felix and Metro. Dranville and we brought on. Uh, Barney Gittins. That's a good in my run out. And Benson behind his minute back here. That's, that should be a free kick there, ref. But ben, that's a bit sick from a Bayern man. Benson Biani. Emre Chan. Into Makoko now. Makoko to turn. Makoko to shoot. And Martel. There's a block there. It's a player that I'm interested in, to be fair, Martel. He's playing great against us. The CDM. And Stotterbeck makes it four. And Dortmund are cooking. That's what the headlines are going to say. Brandt whips it in. Schlotterbeck heads it goalwards. And he finds the back of the net. And while well, our next game probably should be more of a challenge, but we'll find out. Obviously, a few games in, we're going to know what, where this team lies. And we have to take on Bayern yet as well. And that's a Leverkusen and so many more teams. But right now, we look like a dangerous team this season. Chance there, Ryerson. With a big challenge there, and he wins the ball as well, and he keeps it in play and wins the throw-in. Over to Selbecken. Shot is taken, and Kobel makes his first save. He's got 84 minutes without making a save. He had one chance to do so and didn't make it, unfortunately. But he makes a save there. Ryerson. Kobel, okay. I was hoping he'd catch that, to be honest. And Solica, fortunately, Kobel saves that, okay. Don't head it back to our goal. I try to, every time I do that, I try to head it back to the keeper. But they end up not, you know, getting the ball. But Barnegittens there. What can the younger man do? Jimmy Barnegittens from Ranger. Barnegittens hits it, and Barnegittens puts it wide by a, a minuscule margin. Minor. 
Amena, how you pronounce his name. And defending there from Rice and it's incredible defending there to see out the game pretty much. Ryson once again stepping in and there we go it's going to be a corner to defend late on here no, it ain't. it's going to be a goal kick I love that so we get to just retain possession and that should be the end of the game one more pass there we go and it's a 4-1 win at home up against Cole and let's get into our next game all right so for our second game of the episode and the final game of the episode because I want you guys to give me your transfer suggestions on positions that I'm going to talk about after this game but we're up against uh, Bochum here we we'll actually have Slybrex brother in their team. That's an interesting battle we're going to be up against. Got Passy into up front. And I'm trying to see if there's any players that I recognise in that team other than them two. I think Gamboa I recognise, but the rest of them I'm not too sure. Let's get into this game now against them. They're playing a the five at the back. But with our team, we should be able to do something against that. And the bench, I believe it's going to stay the same. I think Donny van der Beek's going to come with us for this one, give him a chance. Maybe Giovanni Reina for Brandt. Yeah, I want to see what Reina can do. And um, I think maybe, do we start by now? We're going to be able to start Hummels. Uh, Sula played well, Slotterbeck played well, a little bit tied both of them. I think I've got to drop Sula for this game and start by now. Obviously, that's a very big change in terms of the team, in terms of Sula being a great defender. But we have Slotterbeck and Bornau in the team. Going to start Danny van der Beek, give him a shot in the team. See what he can do. Uh, Marius Wolf, you know what? We'll play. Um, do I play Wolf? Uh, Wolf left back. In Ryerson. Um, you know, we'll play Marius Wolf at left back for this game. Let's rotate the team a little bit. See what we can do. Obviously, Donny van der Beek, uh, Wolf, and Bonaldi. Any changes for this game? Let's get into this one, and uh, hopefully be uh, Bockham here. It's been an interesting start to this game. Uh, Ryerson. Get the ball there. Bonaldo, so love that. And Daniel Marlin. Into Ariemi. Ariemi back to Marlin. Daniel Marlin, the Dutch. Ah, he misses. Ah, I couldn't find Royce. Passing it having a power on it, unfortunately. Gamboa. But Marius Wolf. Okay, that's gonna be, that will be a free kick. Fair enough. And they've whipped it in from that resulting challenge, Emre Chan. And your Marlin are gone, please. Come on, Sancho. Jordan Sancho. Shoots on S of saves. I think it was in his weak foot. Or is that a strong foot? I don't know. It probably should have been a goal, but Royce from the free kick. Uh, no, not free kick, the corner, sorry. Start back. Emre Chan, I want you to hit that first time. If he hits that first time, he probably scores. But now wins it back. Can he do it again there? Yes, he does. Keep that in play. But now, ref. Ref. Oh, no. Surely we're not going to get screwed up with a ref here. Oh, no. Hoffman, header, goal was not wide. Okay. Right, son. Daniel Marlin. Daniel Marlin now. Okay, to Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek hits it and Essa saves. Two former United men. Forcing saves from him right now. But now. Sancho. Ah. Okay, Chan. Can just keep the ball. Okay, the game is screwing me over here. What is going on? There we go. Myers Wolf. Into Karamadiemi. Into van der Beek. Hits it. Van der Beek scores. And the unwanted players at Man United are proving why they went to United in the first place. The talent they had, the ability they have, just wasn't found. But Donny van der Beek here hits it from range and scores a great goal. Hoffman up wide to Gamboa. Myers Wolf now has already decked him once in this game. But now a good block and Kobo grabs hold of that. A Swiss shot stopper. That's a good save there. 
in your Marlin. I shouldn't have let go. I shouldn't have started running. I just wanted to uh, get in control of the ball there. Adiemi. Royce. What play? Adiemi. Oh, that had to be a goal. Vitek now. Oh, Vitek. I'd imagine it being a, a V sound that you make. Uh, Donny van der Beek. Could I make a good save, uh, challenge there? The save this my goal. It's got an opportunity. Corner whipped in here by Bokum by Stoga. Had a goal was in Kerbal. Parrot is it out for another corner. And from said corner, it's whipped in again. Sancho gets something on it. And Ray Chan. Okay. Oh, that was that was almost. Gamboa. A wide hit. Marius Wolf. Have a day off. Is that? I was going to say, I'll get. That, wait, that is a free kick. Hang on. Go on, Kobo. Thank you. It's never a free kick, man. Daniel Marlon now. Okay, it's actually gone random. To be fair, I thought he actually read that. But Marlon. Into Jordan Sancho to make it two before half time, and Sancho does so. And the two former United players make it 2 0 here. Donny van der Beek with the first, and Jaden Sancho with the second. It's an incredible strike there. And we're 2 0 up here just before half time. Love to see it. Vitek now. Uh, Ryson got defending there. A Norwegian defender, I believe he is. I remember correctly, he's Norwegian. Van der Beek, thank you. Go on, Daniel Mallon. That's yours, there we go. You have him there, Daniel Mallon. Love that. This is the Mallon we expect, the pace. Oh, why is he running away from that pass? Why did it not lock him onto it? I hate that. I hate that in this game, man. You do an over-the-top through ball, and your player just doesn't get locked onto it. And we're trying good work there, Marlon. Marco Royce from range, and the keeper saves. Forster van der Beek. Marlon Royce. Marlon sets it. Oh, couldn't get a shot away though. Ryerson wins it back. Comes to Donny van der Beek again from range. Ah. Yeah, why did the game just make him stop on the ball? I did not tell him to stop there. Come on, Schlotterbeck, thank you. Sancho, okay, why is why are my players just not moving when they have the ball? What is going on? Gamboa. There we go, Ryerson, get that out. Camera Chan, move. There we go. Keep moving. Bon out. And a bit, oh, where's Marlon? Oh, there he is. Why is he not coming short there? Oh no. Big challenge there by Bornau. Shot is blocked by Schlotterbeck. And it's out for a corner. Can Bokum creating a couple of chances for themselves in this game? It's to be expected in a way. A routine that can do so can cause you troubles. Sancho out wide. Uh, cleared it, sorry. All that's on the ball. As if the game's giveaway. As if the game's giveaway penalty there. I mean, it is a pen because of the challenge that was put in. Oh. What a challenge I'm trying to make. Look, look the ball's there to be won. Look at it. It's right there. Why has he just stepped away? Why has he stepped past the ball? And oh. Kerbal. Versus who? Is that, oh, he's pinning, get it. He's 2 1 down. Oh, he's getting the ball at least. Royce wins it back. Okay, Adiemi now. Adiemi. Oh, Karim Adiemi. Gone. Adiemi. Oh, Marlon. Never go. Not sure whose goal is going to go down as in the end, but Marlon's celebrating it. It's 3 1. Incredible dribbling there from Karim Adiemi. He just unfortunately couldn't get the shot away. The keeper came out. As you can see here, and did well. We're forced there to Malin. It is deflected off the defender, but the shot is going goalwards anyway, so it's going to count as a Malin goal. It's the first of the season. A little bit fortunate in the way he got it, but at the end of the day, it is where it is. A fine change just made. Let's try defender's corner. So it's in. And it's at a goalwards, and it's in.
I need to see this one. So I feel like we should have defended it. I, feel like I think I had three players there. Yeah, look at that. It's a good header. Got to give it to him. Yeah, I don't think he should be winning that header. Ryzen to Mecha. Mecha. Oh, that's, that's called by Mecha. Over to Makoko, and that's going to be four. It's 4-2. It's a nice goal. And Mech, a lovely ball roll there. Great composure as well. And Makoko got his first goal of the season here. Coming off the bench, the first chance he's got, he's scored. I, 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 I mean, we'll take a 4-2 win against Barkham, to be fair. They're not an awful team. I mean, they're, they're, we should beat them. That's why we are beating them. But I did expect it to be a little bit more playing setting than it is. And it has been easy, in a way. Just the fact that the penalty, it, uh, like uh, you know, you know, I was sent on both goals. I feel like we could have done better with both, but at the same time, they've had their chances, and they, they might deserve, they might have deserved one or two goals in this game. Imagine this is Felix pass luck. Oh, I should have gone for that change a little bit sooner. Oh no, 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 Potencia is pretty wide at least. Hoffman, Wallace, Kobol saves. So shaky end to this game. I think Barkham kind of got in ahead a little bit in this game, to be fair. In fact, they've got two goals. The Ranville gets it clear. When is Forrest Danilo? Plays it forward. Stoker. Hoffman. Good block there by Ryson and Banagetins now. Ah, let's hope we can get one more attack. 4 2 win, we'll take it. Alright, to wrap up episode 1 or episode 9 of this uh, career mode, um, we currently sit top of the Bundesliga in first place with uh, two, uh, two, games, two, uh, two games, two wins and six points gathered overall. I guess he's got it doing quite well. How are Bayern doing? Uh, they're down in eighth. They play, only played one game and they won it, they won it to be fair. Leverkusen won one, lost one. So that is interesting. Wolfsburg doing quite well as well. And um, in terms of the potential transfers in next episode, it is basically a backup goalkeeper position. So I think I'm going to give Meunier this season to play the backup right-back role and then Marius Wolf the backup left-back. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with our full-back positions next season because Ben Sibiani will most likely get replaced next season since he's 30 years old and he isn't really the future of the team. And depending on Ryerson, how good he's at right-back, it could move him back to left-back and play him there. But I do like him at right-back so far. I see Marius Wolf as a player I just saw in that last game. Can do quite well for us. Can play centre-back, can play CDM. Can play down at wings as well if we need him to. He's a very, very versatile player, which is why I still like Dortmund in real life, I believe, because he's actually a very underrated player, in my opinion. But in terms of backup goalkeepers, we have a couple of options here. We have Kelleher from uh, Liverpool, the Irish shot stopper. He's obviously first team, is in the first team right now of Liverpool due to Addison's injury. We have Thomas Rakosha from uh, Brentford, obviously formerly of... Um, he played in the Serie A for a team. I can't remember who he played for, but he played in the Serie A. Was it Lazio he played for? I think it might have been Lazio he played for. But the Albanian shots that people could bring in. We also have Florian Muller. Obviously, he's in scouts. I just added him to the uh, shortlist because I completely forgot about him, to be honest. But, um, yeah, he could be a good player as well. So we need to uh, obviously have a look at his rating. I will do that in terms of... Um, I'll check Sofifa and see what rating he is. And in terms of players that are here, basically, these are potential right-backs for next season. We have Juan Bissaka who we could sign to be a backup right-back, depending on if we want to get another player from Man United, because we've got Sancho, we've got Donny van der Beek, who are two players are willing to sell, but also the fact that we're giving them uh, Sebastian Haller could also maybe allow us to get one Bissaka next season if we need him, you know what I mean, as a right-back. Obviously, um, we, could, we could also sign a left-back, which is why I've got a couple right-backs. So we've got Real Baku, who are always signing my Dortmund Kromitz, because he's just a very good right-back, to be fair. And so if we want to do something different, we could do something different. We've got Mazarawi, who obviously went to Bayern Munich. I think he's already gone his way. So we could um, make that swap between Bayern Munich and Dortmund again and bring him to Dortmund and see what he can do. In terms of centre-backs, these are just players that I had for the backup centre-back role, but I went with Bornau in the end. We had Ovedi, Coppola, Ozenka back. In terms of left-back role, Kieran Tierney. Obviously, he's on loan at uh, Real Sociedad right now, the Scots, uh, Scotsman. But I think next season, we could actually buy Kieran Tierney. I think he would be very, very good for us in that left-back role. Also, we used him in our Newcastle series last year, or last FIFA, 
and he was very, very good. And um, I feel like for 20 something million, we could bring him in next season and he could be our left back. And uh, obviously, we're going to find different options throughout the season. We're going to bring in, we're going to add more players to that shortlist. And uh, Kerry and Tony at the end maybe couldn't be the perfect player. But I do feel like he would be very, very good. He can go forward, he can defend. And I feel like he is perfect for this team. And so, sort of other players that we've got Eric Martel, who obviously is a young talent at Cone, who we played against in that first game. And he looked very good, to be fair. So, I'm going to give him a season at Cone to develop and see what rating he becomes. And then maybe we could sign him in season two if we need him. Obviously, he could be a backup centre back. He can't play that role. And doesn't look too bad as a centre back, to be fair, judging by his stats. And that is it for the shortlist right now. Um, so, yeah, that is it. So, backup goalkeeper, let me know. We should go with Kelleher. We should go with Shakosha. Or we should go with Flay and Muller. Or maybe a different option. Maybe there's a young talent who's around the same rating as these guys. I think the highest rating I wanted to go to was like a 79, 80. And the lowest is 73. Maybe, I don't, I'm not too sure really. Just as long as it's, it, they're a decent backup goalkeeper. With a little bit of room to grow. And be, do, do a job for us basically. So that's going to call it for this episode. Obviously, thank you again for watching. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so don't miss any videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be or a Play Chroma video tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out the Play Chroma that I just mentioned on the channel. Check out the Universe mode I make, the Hoodin Alvarez Focus RTG. I do make Model Warfare 3 videos now and again. I might start streaming again over here on YouTube or on Twitch. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, thank you again. Thank you again for watching. And um, yeah, goodbye.